Let's look at TIG 4.10a. It says, I can distinguish between fixed and variable expenses. So this is part of the financial literacy unit. It talks about budgeting, savings options, expenses, calculating profit, and things like that. So this is quite different than fractions and geometry and adding and subtracting. So it says, I can distinguish. Distinguish means knowing the difference between fixed and variable expenses. So I will give you the definitions and we will go over some examples and how to calculate it. First thing you need to know is expenses are things you pay for for your needs or wants. So some needs could be like groceries, electric, electric bill, internet, cable, car payment, and things like that. And then wants could be vacation, extra clothing, any extra things for your house, you know, not, you don't have to get it, but you know, you want to get it. So between those expenses, we have two kinds, fixed and variable. So fixed is something where the cost is always the same no matter what. Every week you pay the same amount or every month or every year, it's the same amount no matter what. Then we have variable expenses. The cost might differ each time you pay because of need or choice. So there could be something that one week I pay a certain amount, but then the next week I decide not to get as much or I just decide not to do it. And so the cost will be lower or just nothing for the week. Or let's say I want more, so then I would pay more for it. So let's go over some examples. So fixed again, like I explained in the last video, it is the cost is always the same. It will not change. So car payment every month could be a certain amount, $267, and they just take it directly from your account. Your phone bill, like a cell phone bill plan, you might be on like a family of four plan or something like that, or they'll say unlimited internet, unlimited text messaging, unlimited phone calls, you know, $49.99 for the month. Or they might say unlimited phone calls, unlimited internet, but a certain amount of text messages. $49.99 for the month. But then if you go over your text message limit, then it will change, with then, which then will become a variable expense because you texted more than you were allowed, so then your cost will be different. Or let's say they say unlimited text message, unlimited internet, but only 1,000 minutes on the phone for the month. And let's say it's $49.99, but then you ended up using 1,500 minutes. So then, again, it'll go up. So then it becomes a variable expense because you use the phone more than um, they allowed you to. House payment, $2,341 every month. Unless you decide to pay it off, then obviously the, then the cost will be more. So now variable expenses, it varies or changes from time to time. So the first month for gas for my car could be $35. But then the second month, the price of gas could go up, and so then it'll be $37. The third month, the price of gas could go down, and so it'll be $32. It could also be that my need could be different. Let's say the first month, I used up a whole tank of gas or for the first week, and it's $35. But then the next week, I'm driving a little bit more, so then... I need more gas for my car, so then I have to pay more. I'm going to run out and I have to pay more. But then the third week, I don't drive my car as much, therefore I may not have to pay as much. So it's all based on need and choice. Here's groceries. For the first week, groceries could be $46. But then the second week, let's say you had people come over and give you food, or you went out to eat, or you ate a lot of leftovers, or, you know, you had food at work more, whatever the case may be, your groceries might be $29. The third week, let's say you didn't buy as much as the first week, but you cut back because you need that extra money to pay for something else, so you are very careful with how you spend your money on your groceries, so then it's $39. So as you can see, based on need throughout those three weeks, it varied, so it's a variable expense. Or let's say some of the groceries were on sale, so I got them cheaper. It just all kind of depends. Electric bill. Let's say the first week or the first month, it's $48. But then the second month, I may not be using the TV as much or um, 
I can't think of anything. <laughs> like um, maybe I've been very careful with making sure I turn off the lights. Um, so then the electric bill went down the second month. Third month, you know, maybe I wasn't as careful. And so it went up a little. Heating bill. Let's say the first month it's $79. But then obviously it's getting colder. Winter is coming. I use the heater more. So then it's going to go up. I need the heater on. So because my need increases, my variable expense for the heating bill is going to increase. And then, you know, let's say it's getting colder. I need the heater more. Let's say I have guests over. I have to keep them warm. So the bill goes up even higher. So I hope you have an idea of fixed and variable expenses. Now let's look at some examples and you decide where they belong. Okay, I want you to look at this list and just write F next to it if you think it's a, it's a fixed expense, meaning the same time, the same amount every time, or a V for variable expense, meaning it's going to vary from time to time every time you pay. So just press pause and then press play when you're ready to begin. Okay, so let's go through, through these. So clothing is going to be variable because I am not going to be spending the same amount every time I go shopping for clothes. It just kind of depends what I want, if I want to spend that much money, you know, based on need and also. Car payments, payments, those are going to be fixed because every month you pay the same amount because whatever the cost of the car is, uh, plus the uh, interest that you have to pay, you divide that over the certain number of months that you're going to, the time that you're going to use to pay it off. And so then, then it's a fixed expense. Vacation, that's going to be variable. Let's say your first vacation might be just a road trip. And all you have to pay is um, the cost of the gas and the food and the hotel that you're staying at. But then the, ne the next month could be a vacation where you fly. Well, then the cost will be different because you have to pay for airplane tickets and things like that. And maybe a rent-a-car when you get there. Groceries, that's going to be variable because you're not going to get the exact same groceries every week and the price for groceries might also change. Gasoline is going to be variable because the price of gas changes and you may not be driving the exact same amount every week, every day. And so when you have to fill up your car, it's going to be different too. Entertainment, that's going to be variable because... The first time you go to the theater, you might just buy movie tickets. The second time, it might be movie tickets and popcorn. Um, the next time, it could be movie tickets and nachos. Or, you know, maybe the next time you bring a friend, friend along. So, it might be two movie tickets. Electric bill. That's going to vary also because it just depends how much you use your electricity. You might, might, might not even be at home that the most of the month and so your electric bill will be lower also cell phone bill um that's kind of a debate it kind of just depends it should be fixed but if they tell you you have to stay under certain number of minutes or certain number of text messages you go over well then it's no longer fixed then it becomes variable house payment is fixed it's the same amount every month unless you know you decide to pay it off or you don't make the payment on time or things like that, well, obviously, with everything, then it becomes variable. Loan payments, same thing, fixed. You have to pay a little bit every month to get that paid off. All right, let's look at some word problems and find out variable and fixed expense and calculate it. Okay, I know this is a longer problem, but we're going to go through it step by step. Suzanne has some fixed and variable expenses. She pays $13.75 every six weeks for the newspaper to be delivered every day to her, out, her out home. She and her family went to Restaurant A and spent $47.62 on Monday. They spent $38.16 at Restaurant B on Wednesday. They spent $41.29 for a meal at Restaurant C on Friday night. How much does she spend on fixed expenses? How much does she spend on variable expenses? What was her total expenses? So I want you to point out which ones were the fixed expenses and then point out which ones were the variable expenses and explain why. So press pause. Okay, so as we spoke in the last clip, fixed is the same amount every time. 
So this would be fixed. Variable, it changes from time to time depending on need or choice. So at this restaurant, I guessed it cost a lot, so they had to spend that much. At this restaurant, it didn't cost as much. And then re this restaurant, it's cost a little bit more. So those three are variable. So now we're able to answer three questions. How much does she spend on fixed expenses? So for fixed, since there's just one fixed expense, it would be $13.75. For variable, I have three different amounts, $47.62, $38.16, So for this, I have to add these three. So I did the addition, and for variable expenses, it's $127.07. And so then the third question is, what was her total expenses? So then for that, I would add the fixed expenses. And I got $140.82.